Repsly allows back office managers to create forms that their reps can then fill out in the field through the Repsly mobile app. To create a new form, go to the Forms page located under the Settings gear icon in the upper right corner of the Repsly back office. This will take you to a list of all your current forms, as well as a new form button that can be clicked to open a blank form template. Each form must be given a title, and you can also provide a brief description to inform your reps what kind of data the form should be used to collect. You can then create fields on the form in which the reps will enter that data. Give each field a name, then determine whether or not the field is mandatory for this type of form. Finally, choose how you wish to have the rep enter the data for that field. Text and long text fields allow the rep to type an answer. A numeric field will have them enter a number. A yes no field lets them choose either yes or no. And a photo field has them take a photo and embed it in the form. There is also a selection option, which gives managers a box where they can enter all the possible answers to the field on different lines. And reps can then choose any one of those answers when filling out the form. You can create as many total fields as you want on every form to ensure your reps have room to collect all the information needed. Once the fields have been set up as desired, click Save to add the form to your forms list. You will see it there immediately. In the Repsly mobile app, Whenever a rep opens a client from their clients list, they can scroll to the bottom of the activities page for that client to see a list of all the currently available forms. Reps can click on any form to open it and begin filling out each of the fields based on the parameters set by the manager. Selection fields bring up a list where reps can choose any one of the possible answers. Text fields create blank text boxes that reps can fill in from their mobile keyboard. Numeric fields are similar to text fields, but have only a number pad instead of a full keyboard. And yes, no questions work like selection fields, but the only choices are yes or no. If you have your e-signature setting turned on, reps will also have the option to capture a signature at the bottom of any form. Once all of the fields have been filled in, or at least all of the mandatory fields, which are marked with a red asterisk, the rep hits done and then confirms that they are ready to submit the form to the back office. In the back office, managers will see the activity pinned on the map showing the rep's location at the time the form was submitted. They can click on the pin to see that it represents a form and then click on the form icon to pull up the details of the data gathered. The form will also have a corresponding entry in the activity stream below the map, and this can also be clicked to see the detailed information. Every form in Repsly has an optional autofill function that can be used to pre-fill forms submitted by reps based on previously entered data. By default, the autofill option will be turned on for any new form template created in the back office. When the autofill is turned on, if a rep opens a form in the mobile app under any client for which that type of form has been submitted in the past, the forms fields will automatically be filled in with the data collected the last time that form was submitted for that client. Reps can edit this information or simply resubmit the same data if nothing has changed in between visits. If you would prefer to have your reps see a completely blank form every time, simply uncheck the box that reads Autofill on Open in the form template, then be sure to click Save. Once the autofill has been turned off, reps will get a fresh, empty form every time for every client. Once reps have submitted some form data into the back office, managers can send or save that information outside of Repsly in a few different ways. Each form will have in its top right corner a printer icon that, if clicked, opens a new window with a printer-friendly version of the document. This can be used to produce a hard copy or PDF copy of the form, which can then be stored or sent out as needed. Next to the print button is a chain link icon that brings up a pop-up window with a hyperlink. This link can be copied and pasted into a new browser window to see the form in full detail on its own page. The link can also be emailed out to anyone who needs access to the specific form without having to grant them access to the Repsly account directly. It is also possible to save the data from multiple forms of the same type at once, rather than doing them individually. 
If you set a particular type of form as a filter on the main back office map screen, you can then click on the grid icon where it says View As in the right corner above the map. This brings up a tabular view of the form data, resembling a spreadsheet where each row is one instance of the form being filled out, and each column contains one piece of data. If you scroll to the right, you can see the actual information collected in each field for each form on the list. From this tabular view, managers can print or create links to the entire group of forms at once. At first, they will see only a basic overview of when the forms were submitted, but by clicking on Show Details, they can see all of the data gathered on each form in full. In addition to the print and link options, managers can use the export button at the bottom of the tabular view to download the forms in an actual spreadsheet format, and then open the spreadsheet outside of Repsley. It will be laid out the same way as the tabular view, with each row being one form and each column being one information field. The spreadsheet can be saved externally, edited, and or sorted as needed, so managers can use the data gathered in their Repsley forms however they need to for their specific business. Aside from the tabular view, another way to save form data in a spreadsheet format is to use Repsley's export or download feature. Go to the settings page under the gear icon and click export or download at the top. This brings you to a page where you can export various documents, including forms. Select the date range for which you wish to export the data, as well as the type of form you want to export and the specific spreadsheet format you want, either Excel or CSV. Then click download to generate a spreadsheet just like the one created via the tabular view. Each row is one form, and each column is one information field, all of which can be edited or sorted as needed and saved outside of Repsley. This concludes our overview of form management in Repsley. Thanks for watching.